Good morning and welcome to today's devotional. Now I'm just wondering if anybody knows what this is. I'll just show you a picture closer up. Not many people use them anymore and a lot of people use their phones instead. Well it's a sat nav and we use sat navs to help us find our way. Now me and Luke bought this sat nav quite a few years ago when we got completely lost in Bournemouth. It was 11 o'clock at night and we were driving through all sorts of bits of the countryside and we bought this sat nav because we said we never want to get lost again. Uh, now a sat nav uses a GPS system which is a global positioning system. Now a GPS system tells us where we are, it tells us where we're going and it tells us the best route to get there and it also tells us if we make a wrong turn. I don't know if your sat nav has ever said, please perform a U-turn. Now, the Bible says that God's word does the same for us. And we're just going to listen to Psalm 119, verse 105. I want to read from Psalm 109, verse 105. Okay, go on. Read now. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Thank you very much for that. So this verse is saying that the Bible shows us which way to go. And now we're also going to just read 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17. So we'll just listen to that now. 16 and 17. All scripture is God breath and is useful for teaching, rebooking, correcting and training in righteousness so that man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. That's great, thanks. So what this verse is saying is that the whole Bible has been spoken or breathed by God himself. Now that doesn't mean that he breathed or spoke and the words magically appeared on a piece of paper. It means that God influenced the people who wrote the Bible. So God told them what to write and they wrote it down. Now, the Bible is God's way of communicating with us and communication is very important in any relationship, like with our friends or our family, because it's how we get to know each other through communicating, through speaking to each other. And so when, the, when God uses the Bible to communicate with us, uh, he tells us all sorts of things. He tells us about who he is. He tells us about his love for us. And he tells us about what's best for us. So this verse in 2 Timothy explains how the Bible can become God's GPS for our lives. Show us which way to go. So this verse in 2 Timothy says the Bible is profitable. That means good for four things. It's good for teaching, it's good for reproof or rebuking, it's good for correcting, and it's good for training in righteousness. So the first one, teaching, that's telling us what kind of people we need to be and how to get where we need to be. The second one, reproof or rebuking. They're quite hard words, but that means telling us when we've done something wrong. So the Bible tells us what are the wrong things, so when we do the wrong things, we know. The third one is correcting. So that's making sure that we get back going in the right direction. And the fourth one is training in righteousness. That means continuing to guide us towards what God wants for us, the best thing for us. So we need to pay attention to what's written in the Bible and follow it and do what it says. So sometimes when I go on a journey and I'm using my sat nav, I might know a shortcut or a better way that the sat nav doesn't know. So when the sat nav tells me to go straight on, I turn left on my shortcut. I'm ignoring the sat nav. Now this is fine in real life with your sat nav, but we can't ignore the Bible. If the Bible tells us to do something, we can't think, oh, I know a better way. If the Bible tells us to do something, we should do it. 
Now, I've just typed heaven into my sat-nav and it's come up with two places. It's come up with Heavenstown in Ireland and it's come out with Heaven Above, which is in Todmorden. I'll just show you a clearer picture of that. Now, they say heaven, but they're not the real heaven because we can't actually get to heaven by looking at sat-nav. There's only one way to get to heaven. Now, when we're doing our kids' camp in Ripon, we have a song about this. And it says, you can't get to heaven in a biscuit tin, because a biscuit tin's got biscuits in. You can't get to heaven on a jumbo jet, because God hasn't got any runways yet. You can't get to heaven on Billy's knee, because Billy's knee's too knobbly. Now, in the, that's just a bit silly, but in the Bible, God tells us the only way to get to heaven is by trusting in Jesus. So we're just going to listen to John chapter 14, verse 6. Uh, John chapter 14, verse, verse 6. six. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except for me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Thank you very much. So, God didn't just tell us how to get to heaven. He also sent Jesus to the earth to show us the way to go because he didn't want us to stay lost. He wanted us to go and be in heaven with him when we die. Now, in this country, we are really lucky because we have free access to our Bibles. Um, there's several people in our church who support the Bible a Month campaign by the Bible Society because there are still a lot of people in the world who don't have access to a Bible at all and a lot of that is because it would be too expensive for them. So this campaign helps to pay for people who want a Bible and it gives them one. So I think we should really take every opportunity to read our Bibles and not just apply God's word to our own lives, but also to learn more about it so that we can tell others about it too, so they can know the way to get to heaven as well. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you that you've given us the Bible, which is your word for us. I thank you that we're so lucky in this country that we have plenty of Bibles to read and we can read them without fear of persecution or getting in trouble. And I pray that you'll help us to treasure your word to us and read it and remember the things that you said to us in the Bible so that it can help us in our lives, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. So thank you for uh, Philip, Ben and Praise who helped with today's devotional. That was really good, thank you.